Okay, we're picking it up where we had just done the top view. We had done the front view earlier. We've now done the top view. We've put this line out there, and we're going to remember that we can very often turn these things on and off as need be. By clicking on the dynamic, I can left click on this, left click on the end, and then change its length to something like 10 so it goes infinitely far away. You'll remember that we had some projection lines here, but we ate them all up, if you would, while we kind of did all these trimming and fillets and whatever. We could put them back if need be. Or we can just kind of look right now at doing our reverse pool shot. Once again, reverse pool shot and one lines go, projection lines going across from this entity here or from this front view. So the command was X line. X line is an infinite line, construction line, and you can make them horizontal. Through what point? Shift right click the end point of there. And we can offset through. Shift right click the end point there. Shift right click the end point there. And you have three projection lines coming there. And what these will be for, they will actually, we'll do the reverse pool shot, bring them down to match them up with the projection lines from across here. So we can just continue on our projection lines, offset through our projection lines through the end point there, through the quadrant of the circle, through the end point of the little hole, through the end point of the notch on the side, through the end point of the little hole, and through the quadrant. Very often you'll later also carry over the center lines, if you would, and we'll finally take that through the end point here. All right, so we've got a set of lines which are projecting everything across. Remember, of course, how important the command draw order was and then back send them all to back so you see things we're going to once again practice the trim to a fence so trim we can say screw that and say f for fence drag across here it's going to grab all that it doesn't always work you notice it didn't grab that one so you sometimes have to say trim trim that off and now we can do the reverse pool shot we do that by left clicking on something left clicking spacebar spacebar c changing at 90 degrees and you could offset through but it's a nice idea to practice that left click left click spacebar spacebar C 90 and finally up here because you're more or less turning the, that light line spacebar spacebar C 90 and you have in effect here you have what is going to be your lines where you're going to have intersections of points and projected lines here it will determine where you've got changes to the piece in here which is called the side view or the right side view you could do essentially the same on the left as well usually you would only add as many views as you need to be um, fully describing the the object so and we have now we can start if we need to be we could either do trimming but it's nice to keep these lines around so we can now change to our object layer and now start learning to use shift right click change the object snap settings to just intersections we've got nothing else on hit ok here we're in our current layer we can turn on our object snap and go line from the intersection there the intersection there to the intersection there and you're going up the notch out to the front back to the top and around. Now as we start and fill these in we'll see also there's also a line if you would across that notch because of the fact that this is out on the side and then we've also got lines we can change now to center line I'm sorry hidden we have hidden lines in places like from there to there and in from there to there and in fact from there to there and in fact from there to there and in in the end we also have a hidden line from there to there now there is also a center lines going through here and in effect 
This, I believe, describes the piece with one caveat, and that would, in fact, be that this line here, this short line here, perhaps would be an object line. I think there's some discussion whether or not these circles are defined, but when a, when a fillet goes into a surface, whether that line there is defined. And uh, you'll see as we do this in the actual 3D engine, you'll see it will not be. Once again, you've got these laid out. You've got them in terms of um, the fold lines are there, the projection lines are there, and eventually you're going to make views of each of these things, but in all reality we will be using the program to make these views. One thing I'll point out here that is, is the dimensioning is the next thing, and in dimensioning you, that's why you need to sometimes to add a little bit more room back behind on these views. So I'm going to go ahead and realize that we have a dimension layer here, and we're going to remember to use um, we'll start reviewing a little bit of dimensioning this week, but we're going to go ahead and use either baseline dimension or continuous dimension, um, and we're going to do it in the spaces in between. So, for instance, here, if we're dimensioning this one right here on the top view, we might want to use a baseline dimension and then a continuous dimension. So, if we go to right-click on any toolbar, brings up a set of toolbars. We can bring up to dimensions there, and we have a set of toolbars. Um, in addition to knowing the use, uh, start with a linear dimension and then there's going to be either continuous or baseline dimension. So I'll bring that first linear dimension. We're going to make that linear dimension from the end point here to the end point there. And we put it out there perhaps. All right now we have a couple of options. We can either go ahead and there's more settings to go. We can either go ahead and do a continuous dimension which is going to extend from there or we can use a baseline dimension. So what we do is we grab to our new point and we've gotten the baseline. So this is actually a baseline dimension. I'll use an example of a continuous dimension here and this in fact is we'll dimension the first one above and then we'll baseline down. So and usually you start with the longest dimension out on the outside and work your way in. So if we're going on this one here we can start with the baseline on the way in. So we're going to go here dimension. In this case I am using the linear not the align because in fact go from there to the end point there and we have that first dimension laid out. Now we can go to continuous instead of continue. So now we're in a dimension to the quadrant or perhaps to the center, perhaps to the end point, perhaps to the end point, and then finally to the We'll just leave it there. This last one I think was a little bit odd. So you've kind of got those laid out. You see that there's settings. We're going to try to clean those up a little bit. In fact, then we might also do a continuous dimension as well to get the entire length of the piece, the overall length, and that would be by using the dimension baseline. And we select now the base dimension and we take it out to the end point and it lays that out as it is. Now we talked about the fit command and the like so we've got a couple of different things. We Right here we have still some more dimensioning on this piece. We'd probably want to get the radius dimension. You have the diameter there. We can dimension the diameter. We've got a center mark there. Um, dimension of the diameter. We might also then have some linear dimensions along this side from the end point there to the end point there. And once again, and if you notice there, because I did not grab correctly, that was not grabbing, but you can also later on go back and learn to move these things where they need to be. You're better off just restarting the dimension, however. And we can once again finish up on a continuous dimension to the end point. 
Finally, you're going to realize Inventor and AutoCAD, we're going to do one more thing with this when we're done. It's going to work differently, but that's the kind of basics of this. A lot of offsets, fillets, keeping things on layers and working that way. Thanks for listening.